Here is an example of the inner workings of a DSL line as it tries to get the data from the internet to your computer as quickly as possible. Here we are going to be talking about DMT, Discrete Multitone Modulation. This is a carrier signal that will be sent from the DSLAM to the modem over our copper wires or tip and ring running between the DSLAM and the modem. This is what it looks like. So let's talk about this. Let's start at the beginning, right at the top with the telephone switch. Our telephone signal, which is a voice signal, it is runs between 0 Hz and 4 kHz. And we have a 4 kHz band right here. And the telephone actually samples your voice between 300 Hz and 3.4 kHz. Now we have a section in here that is open, there's nothing here. This is to prevent any interference between the upstream data and the voice channel. So the, the data channels start at 25 kilohertz and it goes up to 138 kilohertz and they are all 4 kilohertz channels. We have another separation to prevent any interference between the upstream and the downstream and the downstream starts at 142 kilohertz and it goes up to 1 megahertz. Now the upstream is information coming from the modem back to the DSLAM and the downstream is going from the DSLAM to the modem. So now we have between 25 kilohertz and 1 megahertz and if you look at ADSL, ADSL goes between 25 kilohertz and 1 megahertz. So this is ADSL that we are demonstrating here right now with a maximum channel size of 256. So it's telling you basically that you have a maximum channel size between 0 Hz and 1 MHz, you have 256 4 kHz channels. And the maximum speed that you can get is 8 megabits from these 256 channels at 4 kHz per channel. Now, these 4 kHz channels can hold up to a maximum of 56 kilobits of data. Each one of them can hold 56 kilobits of data, both upstream and downstream. So next we have ADSL2, which goes from 25 kilohertz to 1.1 megahertz, also with a 256 channel size, and it goes to 12 megabits per second. So the only difference here really is that the frequency has changed to 0.1 megahertz more, but we were able to get 12 megabits per second more out of ADSL2 than ADSL1 with 8 megabits per second. Now ADSL2 Plus also starts at 25 kilohertz, but it goes up to 2.2 megahertz. So this one would change to 2.2 megahertz with a maximum channel size of 512. So now you have 512 of these 4K channels from 0 Hz all the way down to 2.2 megahertz. And you have a speed of 24 megabits per second. The speed has also been double. So you see a double in everything. You see a double in frequency from 1.1 megahertz to 2.2 megahertz. You see a double in channel size from 256 to 512 and also double in speed from 12 megabits per second to 24 megabits per second. Let's talk about how the data is going to be writing on those channels. Here we have to send our 10 megabits of digital data across the telephone line to the modem. So this is how we do it. Our 10 megabits of data is digital data. We send it to the DSLAM as digital data. The DSLAM changes that digital data to an analog format. So we have 10 megabits of data in analog format here, but we cannot send it across this line as 10 megabits of data. We have to change that down to smaller form because each one of our channels are only four kilohertz in size, which is only capable of 56 kilobits of data per channel. 
So we have to break this data down to at least 56 kilobits for every channel. But what is really done is that it is broken down into smaller sizes than that, into one kilobit of data. So this data is broken, this 10 megabits of digital data changed to analog, and then that 10 megabits of analog data is broken down into one kilobit of data. And then that data is placed on the channels here, filling each channel with 56 kilobits of data, right up to a maximum of 256 channels. So once all 256 channels are filled with 56 kilobits of data, this is called modulating. We have just modulated our data onto the channels. Now our data is sent over to the modem. The modem would receive our data and it would reverse that process. And the reversal is called demodulating. So it would take our data off the 256 channels and it will change it back to an analog form of 10 megabits. Then it will change it to a digital format of 10 megabits and then on to the computer. Now the upstream is done in a reverse process. It is just a 800K um, on the upstream and that would be done the same process and sent back to the DSLAM and then on to the internet. So every second, our data is modulated onto these channels and sent over to the modem where it's demodulated and sent right through to the computer. Every second, this process is repeated. And this is how we get the 10 megabits per second data sent from the internet right through to our computer.